$788,935 and we will spend it in a blink of an eye guys so uh, let's go ahead and we're going to send our logging trailer back um, I'm sure it's a little bit dark for you guys I'm going to boost up the time here like real quick um, we go ahead and find our least stuff here and we'll send this guy back uh, to be honest with you guys, too, I actually did, um, I sent the rest of the stuff back before midnight, and we still got charged for it, uh, which sucks, but it is what it is. I wanted to come in here and lay down some buildings, guys, uh, but if any of you have played Farming Simulator 19, you know that's a lot of money but it it's it's really not so um, <clears throat> I want to play smart and make sure we have stuff to make money with other than just buildings to park our stuff in even though we need it desperately um, so what we're going to do is we are going to purchase a field. Let me boost up this time while I'm talking. Um, we are going to purchase a field at least. And then something to make some money with that field. Slow down. <laughs> so that time warp. <laughs> I can boost the speed up to 480 times. It goes, it goes quick after you get it rolling. All right, so uh, let's see here. Oh. So, guys, I was thinking, that's scary, right? Uh, outside of this one and this one, um. This here's like one of our biggest fields, or well, not a field, but uh, pieces of land. I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this. Uh, oops. For one reason is that it has all that grass on it. Um, we can plant trees up there. We can take the trees that are there uh, but we can run a lot of salvage out of that for right now. And, um, we can add a field to it if we wanted to. So, that's the game plan. But, uh, I'm tired of having to win, <laughs> to win row. I'm still going to have to win row if we get hay. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase, uh, one of these that, uh, throws it in the swath for you swath sounds like slop um but i got this guy i got this guy right here guys you, you know we got the cloth farm going so we might as well go ahead and get that rolling so the horsepower on this one's 449 uh they're both 24 on the speed, and I think they're both 9.9 .9 meters, but 
Ah, oh, this one's actually 27 on this speed. That's 449, 339 kilowatts. So that one start. This one here starts off with more kilowatts, but we can boost this engine up too. Uh, so we can go clear from 330 kilowatts and 449 horsepower, clear up to 515 kilowatts and 700 horsepower, guys. Uh, that's 325,000 with the upgrades. This here is 3D, uh, 380,000 without. So that's not good. Uh, so we might as well go ahead and grab this guy. All right, so we can get skinny user wides. And uh, now, as you guys know, I got to uh, clear out that silage from the BGA, which it is fermented fermented uh it's ready to go so we can load that out then we have to sell the biogas plant and then buy it back so we can start filling it again because all of our silage is stuck in the wall unfortunately um wow why does it cost money it costs money for the um for the double narrows but it doesn't for the front twins the full-size ones all right so I don't know I could keep it I could keep it regular but I think I'm gonna throw them doubles on there and then uh, obviously we got to boost our engine up and what's that change <laughs> that's wild that is wild i kind of like it though yeah i actually like it this thing's got way more detail than the other one too man it actually looked right <laughs> It looked right, like it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, we'll put it back away, but I, I was actually kind of liking that a little bit. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and purchase this. That's a must have. All right, and then, um, 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 um. as far as this, I think that's the biggest one I got. Um, to be honest, though, guys, I, I should go find a, a new mod <laughs> that will hold more, um, or what we can do is we can we could either grab a forge harvester, which is way out of our ballpark right now. Uh, yes, 400000 We have the money, but we don't. Um, or we can just grab another trailer and get a belt and use the belt to just dump that out and let it keep doing its thing. And then we can... Uh, come through with a bigger trailer and the belt system to pick it up I don't know we'll figure it out uh, how much money have we got left 463,000 so we will go ahead and purchase this guy for 268,000 so let's buy that and then let's see how much we have left 195,000 guys so um We didn't, you know what we need? We need a bailer too. I want to be able to bail. I think we should do some bailing. Look at all them tropes. This thing is decked out. We got our hitch net on the back. Uh, this thing, this thing was actually wider, wasn't it, guys? I can't remember already. I forgot. 
Uh, this is oh, 9.9, .9, and that's 9.9. .9. All right. I definitely like it though. It, it it looks way better than the other one. I just like the cloth to begin with though. So. Man, it don't even look like there's any glass here. <laughs> Let's check check out the inside, guys. Nice, clean. Uh, we had the animated stick inside. Uh, we actually have the animated screen too. You guys see the uh, RPMs and that going up on there? I don't know if you can see it, but that's amazing. I wish you could actually turn these screens and stuff on and actually read them. I'm liking this, guys. Uh, big thumbs up to... Uh, I'll have to look it up and give them a shout out for this because this is a nice, clean mod. Real nice. Real nice. If I can get it there in one piece. I desperately need a steering wheel, guys. This is definitely clean. I, I'm loving it. A little dinky steering wheel. She got some speed now. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, look at that. So you got your inside camera. Then it actually has this uh, rear rear view camera here. Yeah, you definitely got to give a shout out to this one. It's, it's nice. It's, it's definitely nice. Nice, good, clean work. Let's see how the lights work. Definitely nice, clean work. good I don't know if you guys noticed or not but uh, this this is my screenshot area right here I ain't want to get that secret away we may or may not use it but we're gonna snap one let's get to it all right so now I thought about purchasing that field but uh, so now we have our field that we had, plus all of that out there in front of us, that whole thing up there. So now we actually have some land if we want to slap some trees down. Uh, other than put them in on our gravel, which isn't going to be gravel, but I'm not going to mess with the, uh, I'm not going to mess with it until we get, um, Man, our motor's not going to get used anymore. Sad, sad, sad. Uh, before I hop out of this thing, I want to... Uh, oh, that's what I was doing. I want to make sure the spot is turned on. I figure out what a button is to do it. Bear with me. Oh, it's going to make me unfold it first, I believe. Because it ain't showing. Work mode. Alright, so work mode swap dropping. Let's 
swap, left swap, right swap. widespreading. There we go. All right. The big M450. All right, we can turn that back off. Now, before I do any collection of collection of grass or what have you, um, I need to clean up the yard and figure out where to put stuff. We have to figure out what we are going to do with this problem. Uh, like I said, this is ready. Should be. Alright. Ah! It did it again, ladies and gents. Is that just like a standard problem with the bunkers? Or is it just this map? Or somebody help me out. Uh, I don't know. Like, all I did was pack it. I never even put it up against that wall. So let me grab this machine. Unfortunately. I'm trying to get to it, guys. And it's just, this is killing me. Uh. So what we're going to do too is we're at least going to go lease a piece of equipment so we don't have this little dinky thing to do with. You see how that's stuck in the wall? So now we can't we can't wrap that or nothing. Like that's making me not even want to use the VGA anymore, guys. Um, if you have not got this map yet. And you're thinking, or you do, and you're thinking about purchasing the BGA. A uh, little heads up, this is gonna be a problem for you. Uh, I'm actually thinking about just getting a different bunker and, and doing my salad there, and then bringing it over to sell it instead of doing it this way. Yeah, you can see that's just stuck in that wall. And see, you can see I'm inside the wall now, guys. And like, if it would let me wrap that. I'd be okay. Oh, by the way, that's how you get inside the wall. <laughs> you put your machine right next to it and you get out of your machine. Little trick, little trick I learned. Yes, we are inside of the wall. Um. Oh, hey, let us take that blanket off. It's a little Houdini trick right there. It should be uh, Houdini 2.0. I should name this one. It's not letting me take that middle one off, though. But it'll disappear as soon as we start shuffling it out. Uh, I know you guys don't want to watch me stuck in the wall all day, but I want to... I was trying to see if I could cover the stuff in the middle... So it would at least let me use it. Because I think that's what got this big pile right here stuck. Because the same thing on that wall over there. It's stuck inside of the wall. So if this is going to be a problem, uh, <clears throat> imagine if you filled this whole bunker up. Imagine how much you would lose because it doesn't just uh, let you clean the stuff up next to it. You just You just end up losing all of it. It's no mod, it's, you know, standard in the game. We'll have to get giants to fix it or something because um, that's 80,000 80, liters I lost on the side there behind me. 80,000 liters. So this is, here is probably going to be at least 20. Um, and that's it if it even lets me uh, get all the stuff from within. You see, you got to get back in your machine to get out of the wall. But... That's how you get inside the wall. I just want to see if this will let me take this without it being stuck. Of course, of course, all that stuff. Yeah. All right, guys. So, 
Uh, we're gonna go get a different machine and try to get that out of there. I wanted to sell this and then repurchase it, which we still might do, but uh, see all that space over there? What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a different bunker over there or something, because we're not gonna keep using that if it's gonna keep taking our, our silage from us. It's a lot of work we put into that. I just want to take it. It ain't good. I ain't happy. I know you wouldn't be happy if it was your man. But it's a lot of work you gotta put into that. And it's just taking it. Off the willies. I didn't show you guys this, huh? Oh, I was on the big wall there. Hang your, hang your skid steer up. Alright guys, yes, we are going to go get a bigger machine. Uh, I want to keep it close. This is too small. This is too much. How much money do we have? Uh, 195000 Bam. Jeez, oh man. 8,000 uh, lease. 12,000 to lease. So that thing is, guys, as big as this thing is, it got less power. It got less power than this uh, New Holland. And I don't, I don't get that. I've never actually used this one, though. Um, so, we got to make, uh, there's a mod where it does doubles on this thing, ain't there? In the front and the back, I'm, I'm meaning. I like the beefy tires on it, but if you're just working concrete, you'd probably want these guys. In real life, I'd imagine. All right, so we're going to lease this real quick. Uh, and then we're going to run it over to the BGA. Clear that out. Uh, we need a not a pocket, but we're going to grab this. How it works? The big ones, like these, but not these. These guys right here, five thousand. Uh, and to be honest with you, oh, oh yeah, the, the big big boys. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and buy these guys instead of leasing them. I'll buy these so whenever we do finally get a wheel loader, uh, we'll already have them. So we'll go ahead and purchase that. And then we'll hop on over, just like that. Because <laughs> yeah, whenever I buy a loader, obviously it's going to be our our class to match the rest of our equipment. I've never been in this thing before. New Holland Construction. Uh, we got our little foot button there for um, traction control. Man, if I had a steering wheel, it wouldn't be all jerky like that. We could make nice smooth turns. I want to do my field of view bigger, but it kind of messes with your um, graphics and that. Your performance goes down. It wouldn't help you guys any, but I want to, <laughs> my PC, I can, um, 
do do my screen in the middle and then do a screen on each side so I could I could actually just look over, look over at the other screens and see out the windows uh, I mean PC guys you already know that um, yeah so you don't actually have to turn the stick to see out the window you could just actually like literally just turn your head and look over there it's great I'm actually using a uh, 47 inch LG TV with the HDMI wire actually I don't have a computer monitor but even then it's it's pretty crisp guys it looks good see I hate this controller man oh uh, and <laughs> I feel like man what the heck is this guy doing uh, my controller is messed up uh, like if I push on a knob, like the my purse will keep running, or if I'm scrolling through something, uh, it'll just keep scrolling even after I stop. Uh, my controller is messed up. Ah, I was gonna say what's happening there, but I forgot the salvage forks themselves has a camera on it, so you have your loader camera. And your Ford camera. Yeah, I just like the look of the other one. Loader better. It's a big beefy. I don't understand how this thing's got more power than it does. This thing's way smaller. I don't think it's gonna let us take this, guys. For some reason, it's it's stuck. I'm surprised it just let us take that wee little bit. Yep. It is still. Ah, oh, no, we just spilled out where we had. It is still stuck. That really bites. It's giving us some. <laughs> Sad thing is that we little bit there's probably a couple of those skid steer bucket pools. How is that stuck on the wall? Oh, we were stuck. Alright, let's turn this off. Let's do it. Let's get to it. Let's do it. I need money. I need money. Yeah, you can make fast work of it with these forks, guys. If you don't have them, I'd go ahead and get them. Especially when you do it bigger size like I did. Uh, yeah, you make, look at that. Thing is reaching all the way over. Definitely make fast work of it. I probably won't even be able to put all this in there. <laughs> There's some weight on there now. Let's see if we can get our hydros going. That's the first time I've used these tires, too. I think they're nice. Nice concrete. Concrete tires. Wow. I need something with a little more control, guys. I meant to look how many liters that was. Yeah, we'll check the next one. I think that's it, 14,000. It's actually a pretty nice view right there. Yeah. 
It feels good to have money, guys. I can tell you that. We spent a lot. Didn't even get a building. Didn't even get a building. But we got a couple of tools we can make some money with now, though. And we can. I might go ahead and at least grab a garage or something. Man. Tell you what, guys, this would be nice if it wasn't all jerky. Yeah, kind of liking this view here. Minus the C3 tire. Man, that really sucks that her silence gets stuck in the wall like that. I did not jerk the controller this time. It's hard to do, though. Or not to do, how about it? Like a real professional right there. Definitely made quick work of this this way, that's for sure. Be nice if we had more work for our island to do though before I have to go back. Uh-oh. She's full. But, I think, I mean, I think, after it empties out, it'll collect this by itself, I'm pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken, we can actually, uh, because I want to go ahead and sell this, and then, then rebuy it. And it just sucks, these bunkers are so big, I can't really put bunkers around it. I mean, we could always put a bunker at the farm and then just truck, whole truck loads of it down here. I mean, it sucks. That's what you purchase it for so you have all of it at your disposal here, but I'm not going to keep putting that much material in there just to lose, guys. It, it just don't seem right. But... <clears throat> Uh, we can actually lug this down to the barn, too, and sell it. Because I ain't even going to be able to sell this until... Until this pays me. I'm wanting to say, after, if I sell the building, it'll pay me for everything that's in it. I think. And that's without having to wait till midnight. I'm pretty sure that if you sell the building before it's done processing, you will still get your money um,
It won't let us put the silage in that forage wagon, will it? Oh, yeah, it will, huh? So, uh, well, either way, we're going to have to wait until midnight for everything that we have in there now. But, what time is it? I'm thinking of just grabbing the forge wagon, guys. Because I don't know if this will put all of this finished processing, but I was going to grab the forge wagon and bring it down here and load this stuff out and take it to the barn and sell it. What will we get? What will I get, Maine, if I take it to the barn? Oh, let's see. Silage. Silage. Uh, we'll get $54 less. Yeah, $54 less. Which is okay, I guess. Then we'll hop to it. Alright, so. Let me jump over there. I'm gonna make this quick, guys. Uh, actually, might just time lapse it because we're already running. Uh, I think we're already running 50 minutes into the video, and if I don't time lapse, this will be way over an hour. I mean, I actually probably should just call the video right now, but we'll see what happens. I'll meet you over there. All right, guys, and here we are. And let's see here. I think we're actually going to have to scoop that up and then redrop it to get that to go in there. Um, but what I was thinking, because I don't want to, I'm trying to do a video here without actually time lapsing anything, guys. Uh, we're already running pretty long. I'll throw a bucket or two in here uh, with you guys, and then I'm going to stop it, <clears throat> and then I'll meet you over. Over at the board when we go to sell it. Just I ain't got a time lapse nothing here. Uh, actually, let me scoop this up real quick and then redrop it. It should go in. Yes. I don't know why it doesn't just pick it up off of there by itself, but it, it makes you actually pick it up. I mean, it's right on the cell point. You would think that it would, you know, just take take it itself. But all right, I'll throw one bucket in here, and then. Um, I'll meet you guys over at the bar after, after I throw this bucket in there. Man, it's a shame it ain't letting us take that. Need something that ain't so jerky. Alright guys, I'll meet you there. <coughs> Alright guys, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> as soon as I hit the, hit the button there. Alright, um, 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 I actually drove over here with the keys on the keyboard guys. Uh, 
I mean, other than right now, it actually worked pretty good. But anyway, I had this trailer full and I went ahead and sold half of it there to the BGA. Uh, that, and that topped off the BGA. Um, but it didn't let me take it all out of there, guys. I got about uh, 20,000 liters still stuck in there. So that's 120,000 liters of silage we lost. Uh, and it's, it, it sucks. It definitely sucks. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if it'll pay us for that when we sell it or not. Probably not, though. That's what I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, so we got $8,741 for that. If we'd have sold it to the BGA, we'd have got more. But I hope they actually fix that. Because it, it's, it's definitely with the bunker. It, it's letting the grass go inside of the wall. And then that's what's causing the whole problem. So, if they, um... <laughs> so. And that's what you get trying to drive with the keys on a keyboard. But, uh, yeah, if they would actually put, um, the inclusion there on the wall, so the, the grass wouldn't go inside the wall, we, we wouldn't have any problem, guys. That's most definitely our problem. It's going inside the wall. But, um, look at our farm here. At least we got one building. The one building you can see from there. Right there where the trees are. Uh, them trees with that bear spot. I was thinking about bringing that whole pad all the way out to the edge of the road here. You know, filling that all so it was level, but that would cost us a lot of money, so if anything, we could just put stuff down there. But anyhow, um, I was thinking about doing, going ahead and putting a pause on this series, maybe after this video, or maybe one more video. And then jumping to No Man's Land and uh, doing my little thing over there. And I'm pretty excited about it. If there's anybody out there that wants me to keep playing this for right now, go ahead and leave in the comments. Uh, if not, I think I'm going to go over there and start what I'm doing over there. I think I might actually, I was going to do it like a series. I think I might actually do like a series role play or something. I don't know. I, I'm not 100% on it yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, but I'm going to cut it here because we're already running too long. Yeah, so if you like what you see, go ahead and hit, hit that like button. If you want to see what's coming, what's next, some play from day day, uh, hit that subscribe button, and I'm out.